I'm James Sabalski, along with Ray Ferraro. We are so looking forward to the action on this one tonight. Magnitogorsk in closer mode here as they go into tonight's game. You want to stay hungry? You know the other team's going to be desperate trying to stay alive. But you can end this right now. Centers are lined up. Official ready to drop the puck. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. And Tronov's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a pass down low. Curry's playing it along the line. Moves it to Andronov. Magnitogorsk got the puck against the half wall. Russia's got it in their own zone. Prince takes it across the line. Shot wide of the net. Takes control of the puck. Gets it to the other point. Takes a nice feed into the corner. And that one stopped. Nice pass. Takes a shot, and a great save. Fires away. Oh, it stops him again. Goaltender covers up, and we'll get a face off. Sends one up to Leipzig. Cuts to the paint, and makes the save. The coaches are pumped to see this kind of offensive zone four check. They want more of it. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Takes the shot. Whoa. Puts it in for the goal, and the rookie is on the board. What a nice way to jump into your first playoff year. You get on the board, and you can relax a bit. Wow, that screen looked like it was just about perfect, didn't it? He doesn't even react as this puck goes by him. Russia's on the board. They lead it 1-0. I can't believe this game's going to end 1-0. So that first goal gives you a head start into what I hope is a pretty offensive game. Russia's gained possession along the boards. Can't get a hold of that pass. Well, they get a chance to catch their breath, but not for long. Icing, big face-off coming up. The centerman has most of the responsibility here. He can only delay so long before they're going to have to get the puck on the ice. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Well, now they've got them running around. They're a little tired after the icing. Here he is from the slot. That goes off a twig. Oh, and that's got the crowd bussing after that stop. Up along the wing. Moves the puck. He scores! And a big one at that! Oh, the rookie comes through in his first playoff year with his first playoff goal. That's got a stink for the goaltender. The puck hits the defender out in front. He loses sight of it, and it goes in the net. Late goings of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Magnitogorsk won the draw. Tried just a little bit too much there, foiled on that play. Sends it over and makes the save. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Not happening on the play. Denies him in close. <laughs> 20 minutes in the books and a pretty fun 20 minutes at that. It's time to support those around us with a monthly food drive. Bring three non-perishable food items and you can receive a free poster. And while both teams get a refresher, 
We'll take one ourselves heading into the second period. Period number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, is also set. Let's do this. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. Magnitogor got it in their own zone. The Russians get a hold of the puck along the boards. They scores! We've got the lead now. Everybody's up on the bench. They've got the energy. You want to push forward. The rebound snapped away. What a nice shot. But the goalie's got to do a better job cleaning up that rebound. You can't leave it right there. Russia's gone in front here in the second. What are you hearing between the benches? Nobody's really that comfortable. I mean, they're happy, of course, they've got the lead, but this is going to stay close. Sends the pass over with the stop. Really smooth stop here as he deflects this puck into the corner out of danger. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Officials seeing obstruction on this one. Interference to call. When they changed the standard a few years ago, James, I thought this was one of the best ones they did because it allows the game to flow along. Russia sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. First chance of the night for the power play. The guys are pretty excited to get out there and see if they can get on the board. Handles the puck. He moves it up ahead. Moves it around along the half wall. Shuts him down. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Russia's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Maximov. Magnitogor's PK unit gets their man out of the box. Hey, I think I killed two penalties in my life. Looked to me like the penalty killers did a good job there. Looks to set up at the point now. Russia's looking to break out of their own end. Oh, look at this. Break away. And brings it off the post. Oh, that's a bad sound to hear. You make a good shot, you beat the goalie, and the puck's coming back. Goalies like that sound, though. Here he is, shot right in front. Made the save on the play. Trying to engage a little physicality here. And sends it just Whoa. out of reach. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Nice speed from the boards. Turns him away. Grabbed along the boards by Mast. Russia's got a hold of the puck. Receives the pass. And the puck leaves the zone. Hits an on-man rush. Two on one. He scores! Now you gotta keep clawing back. Trailing in the game, they get the equalizer. Hey, we get a good look here where the man advantage break is cultivated. Now they've got it clean in. They don't make a mistake, and the goalie has no chance as it's in the net. We know he can really do some damage when he gets in tight to the cage. That's his close quarter superstar ability, and he's got the goal here. Grabs it in his own end. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Right on the doorstep, denies him in front. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Takes it and looks ahead. Here's a chance out front! And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And the sound of the horn will wrap things up for period number two in what has been a tightly contested affair. Fans, tonight our world famous blimp is dropping $50 gifts. Keep your eyes to the sky for tonight's big prize.
The third period is just moments away, and both Ray and I will be ready to bring you all the action here on EA Sports. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. And we are underway here in the third, still tied. Nice defensive robbery on that. Slides it up to Maye. Takes the feed at the point. Magnitogor's got the puck along the wall. Oh, -ho! great glove save. Where'd that come from? side and into the attacking area. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Picked up along the boards by Chabrikov. Nice pass. Slides it across and a big stick save by the goaltender. The Russians gain possession along the wall. His reflexes on display tonight. Oh, and another save! Really good work. I like this chance here as they get the puck into a scoring spot. Goalie's just better on this time. The Russians win the faceoff. Comes up with a stop. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Here's a short pass to Prince. The Russians carry it along the wall. Slots up from the point. Standing tall with the save. Takes the feed. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged a good save. Magnitogorsk got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Koldobin. Pass back to the point. Denies him with the save. Aaron pass, and the play's broken up. Magnitogorsk's got a hold of it against the wall. The arms up, there's the whistle, and boy, look at the time here for a penalty coming up. Spooner's play will result in two minutes for elbowing. Looks like he's not gonna make contact, then he chicken wings him, and he gets nailed for elbowing. Magnitogorsk's got a big opportunity on the power play here. This is why you have meetings in the morning. You look at video of the penalty killers. You try to establish what their tendencies are going to be. Push the penalty killers into some place they're not comfortable. No, sir! Oh, he followed the puck really well there. A couple of good stops. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. Things starting to get a little physical out there. And that one's broken up, trying to shake loose. He's in all alone. Long reach breaks up the momentum. We got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Chaprikov's ill intentions have resulted in a charging penalty. I think the only question there was whether it was going to be two or five for that charging penalty. A little four-on-four four hockey as both teams step inside the face-off circle. Body, body, body has been the way this game has been played. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Denies the shooter on that play. Everybody hesitates for a half a second when they hear the puck hit the goaltender's mask. They all know what that one must feel like. And Tronov's got the puck. Regulation time comes to an end. That means we've got some overtime coming up. The good old days of hockey are back. Vintage jerseys are now available at throughout the arena and at our main store. Ray and I will take a quick breather with OT coming up next. Time will tell the story. 
Puck is dropped and OT has begun. Not able to connect. And the puck skips out of the zone. They'll have to regroup. From the point, looks to make something happen. Oh, what a stop! Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Russians' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Russia's got a hold of the puck now. Takes a shot. Good look. Not a good result, though. Now, they can't cash in if they can't get it on the net. Oh, there's going to be a penalty on this play here, James. There's the whistle, and this power play will come to an end as another man's off to the box. Sinbin down for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. Batten down the hatches. Things should open up here with a little four-on-four -on, -four on the ice. Four-on-four -four is all about getting a two-on-one somewhere on the ice. Use that extra space to your advantage. Mike Mitagorsk's got some room to do something here on this power play as their penalty expired. Look at the Savardian spinorama. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Leipzig. Trump game on a stick, and he keeps it alive. What a stop. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Goaltobin's got it on the offensive end. Fires one. And that one's turned away. And that's broken up. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Moves the puck. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Here's a chance. And that goes off course wide. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. And it's a quick pass to Prince. Russia's playing the puck from the blue line. Stopped with ease. He tracks that puck perfectly on the deflection. It becomes difficult, but he still makes the save. And Tronov's got it along the wing. Sends it out right in front. Game, set, match. The Russians need it overtime, but they come away with the victory here. Just your head down and keep working. Now you get into the extra frame, you get your chance. You better not miss, and they didn't. You've been on both sides of the equation for this. Do you like this tradition? I do, James. I think it's really important to show some respect to the team that has just won. It's been a hard-fought series, and you just go through, you say good series, and move on. On behalf of Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us. Good night.